So you guys have received the DVD cover assignment and I'm sure some of you are not sure how to start but uh, here's a short clip just to give you some step-by-step -step, uh, instructions on how to um, get going. Okay, so first of all you need to acquire your DVD cover whether you buy or you know get an old one. Okay, so what you need to do first is to do the measurement Okay, that you need for the cover. So you measure um, here and then the spine and then the back. Okay. So with the dimensions in, uh, in place, here I have a sample of uh, the dimension that I have already done. So here I've also written front so that I know which side is uh, on the right side. So if you open this up, okay, so you can see that this is all in one, one paper, okay. So the front is actually on the most right side, okay. And then this is the spine area, which is a uh, thirteen mm, and then the back. So the back and the front uh, is the same dimension, okay. So after you have uh, done your measurement, we need to translate this on your Photoshop file, okay. So this is uh, how we're gonna do it. Okay, so now on Photoshop, this is what we are trying to create but uh, minus all the dimensions. Okay, so there are different ways to create and prepare your Photoshop file. Um, I'll do it uh, probably one way or maybe my preferred way. Um, uh, you can develop your own methods uh, if you are more familiar with uh, Photoshop. So, first of all, I want to create this area, uh, this part of the, the front part of the DVD cover. So let me first create a document first of um, 130mm by 184mm. Okay, so create new, command N, uh, set my dimensions to millimeters, and the width is 130 followed by the height is 184 mm okay right now the resolution it needs to be 300 for print and also the color mode it needs to be in rgb okay the rest by default this is 8 bit is fine okay so let's okay this so first you have this um front part okay if you don't want to be confused you probably want to type this to remind yourself okay um, and you can use the guides and bring in to the page okay be very sure that uh, the snap is on okay if it's not on it will not be accurate all right so you need to from the rulers if you your rulers is not showing go to view and show rulers here okay command R okay so you can toggle on and off so with the rulers you can just drag down the guidelines okay so right now my front part is done okay so what I need to do is uh, let me revert back I need to do the spine part which is the middle of 13 mm okay so from this front what I can do is go to image and increase the canvas size from the canvas size I can do relative and I want an increase of 13 mm okay but you have to make sure the anchor is pointing towards this side because I want to I want to increase it here okay so when I do this uh, you will notice a black color bar here okay so this is actually the spine it's taking black color because my background color here okay you can see that it's uh, black in color okay so um, it doesn't matter because later we can change the color. So let's uh, use the guide and create another guideline here. Okay. So right now we need to add a back. Okay. Same thing. We'll go to image and then canvas size. Okay. Relative you can check on. And so right now the width of the back side is 130mm. Okay. Height, we don't need to do anything because right now relative is checked. And then again, the anchor point is this side so that you can add on on the left side. 
Okay, so okay with this. And then use the guideline and <clears throat> put it next to the page. So right now I have the back back side as well. Okay, so let me just fill this up uh, entirely with white so that it's easier to see. Uh, and perhaps type in here back. Okay for you right now we have done all the pages back then the spine and then the front in the correct orientation okay so what I need to do now is to add a bleed okay remember what's the requirement of the assignment is to have a 3 mm bleed alright so we increase the canvas size shortcut is alternate command C okay and relative is checked okay just remember if you get confused if you check on relative is to add on to what canvas size you have already all right so for now i want to add on a 3 mm bleed remember the 3 mm bleed is a border around throughout here okay so it needs to be 6 mm in total okay so anchor can be in the center so for width 6 mm height 6 mm okay so right now there is an increase of 3 mm um, for border for so this is for the bleed so if you want to check and make sure all the dimensions are correct you can go to window and then bring out the info okay using the marquee tool go to every one of them okay right now I've selected the bleed so I just want to make sure that the bleed width is correct so written here is 3 so it's correct and then now I want to check the back okay this is 130 is correct and then this this is 13 this is correct and then another 130 correct and another bleed of 3 mm this is correct how about check the bleed that's on top this is 3 mm correct and then at the bottom correct it's also 3 mm so right now this is prepared correctly uh, with the bleed right so maybe you want to uh, segment your designs into three parts so we have the front the spine and then the back okay so maybe I teach you a method to segregate your your uh, your design okay so I like to work with uh, folders so this is to help us to be more organized so maybe you can call this front okay using the marquee tool you can select all the way to the first portion okay and then with this folder selected you can create a mask all right so that means whatever that you put inside this folder will be restricted to this area okay then let's create another one for the spine and then let me call this spine and then okay so let's tackle the spine one so using the marquee tool you select the middle portion just like this and then create a layer mask same thing so that one is called the spine okay and then let's have one more folder let's call this uh, back okay and then we'll select just the back part and create the layer mask click the icon okay so with that maybe you can throw away this you don't need this anymore okay so the three portions here um, you know whatever that you put inside this folder let's say you create a new fo new layer and you put it inside okay you can fill it up with um, a color okay you can see this is red and let's say the spine you have another color okay even if it's bigger like this okay let's say I fill it up with another color it will be only conform to the mask area so you can see that even though I select everything it is only conform to this okay then maybe the back another one I can fill it up with another color okay
So there I have my three separate files. Sorry, three separate portion, uh, three separate folders. So with this, this is what you need to save for your first requirement, which is the Photoshop. Okay, so you can always save. Um, this is your first Photoshop file, the working file. Okay, uh, of course you don't call this uh, name first. Um, but for this video example, I'll just call it as this. All right. Okay, so let's say you have done all your design uh, here. Um, <clears throat> maybe before I go further, what I like to do is to only see my cover. That means without the bleed. Okay, so what I can do is to create a border to block out the bleed. Okay, so using the marquee tool. I can select this portion and then I inverse my selection and I fill this with black. Okay, black is uh, good because uh, it's more neutral. Okay, so I fill it up and I deselect. I can hide my guidelines so you can see um, whatever design that I put inside, uh, it will be inside the, the black. So maybe this one I can be. I can call it the border so I can switch on and off so that it doesn't distract me about the bleeding okay but when I um, say it's the file you can remove this okay so this is my Photoshop file so right now if I'm ready to save for print okay so what you need to do first um, Let's say everything is done, you can change to color mode, CMYK, don't flatten. Okay, yeah, okay with this. Okay, you will notice that there's a drop of uh, the saturation of the colors. This is normal uh, because CMYK handles the color differently. But if you want to go and tweak the colors, you can go and adjust the levels. Alright, okay, so what is missing now is even though we have our bleed, what is missing are the crop marks, okay? So I know for sure that this DVD cover can be covered <clears throat> within a A4 size. So what I need to do is to increase the canvas. Let's increase it to a A4 size in landscape. So 297, uh, you have to switch off a relative. So 297 by 210. Okay, so right now you see the white area. The white area is the entire thing now you see is for A4 paper. Okay, so right now let's create a new layer. This is for my crop marks. Alright, so how to create crop marks? This is using the marquee tool, pressing the shift. I can do multiple selection. I select the corners as well as the folding line okay this is the lines that i want to fold okay and then i fill the stroke with two pixel which is fine and the color black um, depends on what is your uh, colors that you want to set as your crop mark okay and then if i deselect my selection and hide my guidelines you will see my crop marks here and the folding lines okay but I want to tidy this up so what I can do is to select roughly like that and then delete away okay I also want to clean up the top area here if you zoom in closely you see that it's actually one line here right okay so I don't want that Using the marquee tool, I select further away and then I inverse the selection and I delete. Okay, it just clears it, makes it nicer. Alright, so um, there you have it. You have the crop marks and the bleed is all done. So, and then the color mode has been changed to CMYK. So, with this, you can save. A PDF version for print. So, for example, this will be 
for print. Alright. So I mentioned use the press quality. Uh, nothing wrong if you use high quality print as well. Okay. By default, you can just leave everything as it is and then you just save the file. Do you wish to continue? Yes. That's it. So you have prepared both files. Okay. And for the last requirement where you need to show a preview version without crop marks and without bleed. Okay. So what I like to do is I bring back my Photoshop file. Okay, so let's bring back my working file, which is this one. Okay, so this one has the bleed, right? Okay, so what I want to do for preview version is to flatten the image. So we go to layer and flatten the image. Okay, just uh, bear in mind this is in RGB color mode, right? Using the crop tool, this one. Okay, go to where the actual paper is going to be and then enter. Okay, this will be the size that I want. Alright, so if you look at the image size, okay, currently this is 3224 pixels. So 3224, 2173, 300 ppi. So this is actually quite a large file. You can see that the image size is about uh, 20 megabyte. Okay, I can actually reduce this because since this is for preview only, for screen preview. All right. So what I can do is maybe change this down to 72 dpi. And this, you can see that it reduces automatically to 774. Okay, so it's actually quite small. Um, so I usually try to make it a bit bigger so I can leave it as 1500 okay so whatever below that in terms of the height uh, it will increase as well but you have to make sure that this is linked okay you see this chain like icon it must be linked if it's not linked that means it will scale one side okay so you okay this Okay, you can see that there is a change of size. Okay, this is actually called resampling, right? So after this, what you can do is you can save as PDF and then say this is for the preview. Okay, you will notice that uh, this version will be small. Um, Okay, you can just use the smaller file size and then save. Okay, so right now, um, let me just run through the three files that we have done. First is the working file. So you can see that it's quite small because I've got no layers done yet. Then number two for print here in PDF but in CMYK. And lastly is the preview file. Okay, you can see this is very very light. Okay, what I mean by light is the file size is very small. All right. So right now, um, uh, these are the three files that you need to focus on when you start to create. All right. Thank you.